Hello and welcome to part four of E3 Abridged EA Time. I'm a Mass Effect cowboy, do 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 fucking do. Yes, a little one too there, it's actually space people. And then unusually, we had EA's Andrew Wilson, aka the Human Fist Bump, doing his very best not to look like a futuristic gangster. We think the world is a better place when we all make time to play. Oh, I don't know, playing games can be quite time consuming. Do something so I can just pay a bit of money instead. Hmm. It's a game about flashy cars, and of course it wouldn't be a game about flashy cars if it didn't also have intolerable Oh, this is it, this is the car sex. Oh, tell me when it's done. Oh. And there's some kids playing with lightsabers live on stage. What kind of an example are you setting here, guys? This is supposed to be a family fucking what? And an interesting one here, we have Patrick Soderland using the medium of gesticulation to secretly inform the audience how to put together an Ikea cabinet. And then out of nowhere, EA broke their tradition of back-to-back -back murder mans with this touching shaky gentleman and his little woolly friend talking about going on on holidays. And the yarn, it represents love and the bonds that we make. And it unravels because that's what happens when we're separated from what we love. And that's how, how Yarny came to be. And I, I actually brought him with me. Uh, hi. Uh, no. It's about friendship and love and flowers and a hamster and kites. Oh God, what's this feeling in my chest? Oh no, it's got a nice level, it's got a nice level. It's just a platformer, Mac, calm down. It's just a platformer. And at the point at which it felt like our collective hearts might just break, EA brought it back to traditional franchise land with an incredibly awkward moment with a much-loved IP that long since wore thin with everyone. Yeah, the only thing more embarrassing than a man trying and failing to get an audience to applaud him is a man doing that whilst dressed like a And I think that everyone remembers where they were when the Plants vs. Zombies 2 demo started. It started and then it just continued with its incredibly bleak conversations about content. And then it just continued. And then it just continued. And then it just continued forever. Until honestly, anything, just give me something. Something else. Anything else. Anything else. Oh, not, not that. Come on. I mean, look at that. Very cool. This is golf. Without limits. Golf without li golf without limits. Where will it end? And Jesus, we then had the very sinister reveal that EA had been fattening up players. We're constantly feeding Ultimate Teams with new content. What are they feeding them? Are they, what's the end game? Is this like foie gras? And in an effort to outdo Woolly Man's family holiday stories, Sean O'Brien shared some rather candid information about what he likes to get up to in his own time. NBA superstars constantly amaze me with their flair, both on and off the court. Now, it's mean of me to make fun of somebody for no reason like that, but this is the same man that just moments before unironically used the phrase, up your swag. To up your swag. <sighs> who's coming next? Who's on, the who's on the stage next? Now, we've got our NBA Live community manager, the Hoop God. The hoop God. Here to help you. Come on up here, Hoop God. The hoop, the hoop God. The God, the God of hoops. Hear my words, Hoop God. No, I don't know, it turns out the Hoop God is just an awkward bloke in a jumper. You Early release! Oh, it's a problem that affects many people. Holy balls, guys. Did you know that mobile phones are popular? I know, right? And this year, EA are expanding their catalogue with some new absolute bullshit. Oh, look, it's my favourites. It's the earplugs. What have trousers and eyes. Football is in my heart, in my feet, in my body. <sighs> I guess we just got to be thankful it hasn't spread to his lungs. <laughs> it's too many people, that is cheating. Where's that bloke who wanted a game that wasn't a game? Because this is an old man on a stool. He'd love this. And I've no idea what he's like on the pitch, but he shoots this one down like a fucking pro. You've got some amazing stories to tell. And uh, you told me one earlier today about um, when you went to New York and how you coined the phrase, the beautiful game. Would you share it with everyone here? <laughs> No. Goal! And yeah, so we had some blokes talking about football endlessly in a way which often just wasn't coherent. So yeah, brilliant. I didn't know they were working on it, but uh, EA Sports have nailed a simulation of what it's like to be trapped in a British pub. Amazing. So I think Very we could cool. probably sit here 
forever. You've literally just done that. Don't do it again. Don't stop. And at the point at which almost everyone in the crowd had frankly almost given up on the prospect of living, they flashed up on screen. Oh, it's coming. Battlefield's coming. Battlefield's coming. But now it was time for the shocking revelation that EA didn't know what the internet was. What would life be like if we willingly gave away our privacy? Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. Maybe we could use Google. Although I can't help but feel that the whole shtick about corporate oppression must have been a bit tongue in cheek and knowing, you know, given the fact that the big bad evil money man in Mirror's Edge is an absolute doppelganger for the company's CEO. More football! Because there are two types of football. I always forget that. Kill me. Every now and then. I get a little bit lonely and you're never coming round. No, Star Wars Battlefront. You had me at not Madden. And I could listen to this woman talk about anything forever. Can somebody arrange that? In an incredibly authentic, visually stunning universe. And we've gotten amazing access from our partners at Lucasfilm. They've opened up their sacred woods. Lucas have opened up their sacred woods. Lucas, they've got a ma I, they've got a magical forest. I knew it. I knew it. I mean, where else would they get the Ewoks from? Oh, this just looks good, doesn't it? I haven't really got any jokes to make. Oh, I just want. Oh, oh. it's the only good bit from Shadows of the Empire. Oh, I love that bit of that game. Of course, when the servers actually go live, it will probably be an unplayable mess. Part five coming soon. It's Ubisoft. <laughs> If you've enjoyed this video and you'd like more people to naturally stumble across it on the internet, then clicking the like and subscribe button magically makes that happen. Also, if you really, really like my stuff, then you might consider funding my work on Patreon, because otherwise it wouldn't happen. Thanks very much. Bye!